her computer. Okie dokie. Ba ba ba. Oh yeah, we're live now, by the way. Oh okay. Oh we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we be sure to be podcasting it up tonight? No, for real. On yeah. this spooky Saturday. Okay, I'm moving to my just chatting screen. Spooky. Ooh. Can you imagine they put on the just chatting screen and they were like, okay, so we're waiting for this thing to show up, so we're just gonna, you know, hang out for a while so we don't quite spend much time talking to anybody, and then they just judge out <laughs> the entire <laughs> fucking time. God. <laughs> Let's do that, actually. We yeah, have nothing I'll just be junk ratting. <laughs> we have nothing to talk about because we're not playing the game, so we can't riff off the game, so we just, like, stare at each other in silence. <laughs> okay. So, in 1974, Douglas Colvin (laughs) moved to New York City. Oh, God. It actually wasn't in 1974. I don't really remember him being a lawyer to New York. I think I remember that kind of stuff. What do you think I look like? A woman? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Absolutely. Not at all. Oh, yes. I miss going to her. You always miss Gota. <laughs> it's all you talk about. I've had it with you and Gota. God, who misses Gota? He's dead. God, who misses Gota? I just said one thing. No, he's, he's, dead, dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, Okay, well, okay, Mr. Gota. Mandela Catalog fan. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That was mean. I didn't even, I don't even watch you. Only one of those bitches is dead. Thank you. Thank you for sticking up for me. <laughs> I don't even watch Mandela Catalog. I just can't stand by and let injustice go on front of me. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, bargain Batman. God damn. Bargain Batman? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, who is that even directed towards? Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little present for you. <gasps> a present? Yeah. I love Happy presents. Happy Halloween. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god! It's just a thumbnail, but like. Oh, that's oh. so cool! Holy shit! Yeah. Oh, do you want to tell Stream about your ghost day? You? Oh yes. Okay. Oh, actually, maybe we should wait until people. No, Withercast is here. Go for Hi, it. Hi. Hello. We're t- yes. Okay. So I had the uh, me and Aster. We came up with a, this idea for a ghost day you, uh, the other night, uh, but. Instead of being ghosts where, like, you could actually talk to them like they're just a real person but non-corporeal, it's more the last impression of the person, and it's just, like... It's like the effigies, but worse. Yeah, it's like the... what's left of them after they died. Cool. Uh, Lily, get over here! Is Lily in chat? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Lily. <laughs> oh, Willergats also says, I'm trying to watch a five-hour meta-analysis and retrospective of V3. How dare you start streaming early? Okay, well, okay. Is it by, oh my gosh, wait, <laughs> is it by, like, Nezumi VA? I guess we'll find, we'll out, find out in, in like, a couple five seconds. minutes when the stream catches uh, up. We're not oh, actually... yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've seen some of her videos. They're pretty good. We're not actually going to start playing V3 for, like, Yeah. I'm actually going to play minutes. Overwatch, yeah. and I'm not yeah. turning off the sound. Yeah. Ask... Uh, Aster's gonna play Overwatch, but he's not actually gonna stream it. You guys are just yeah. gonna have to hear it. Yeah. No, you guys will only hear the audio of Overwatch, and we'll keep talking. Yeah, because Lily's not here yet, so we're just gonna wait for her to come, and then we'll start. And I think it'd be really funny to only hear the sounds of Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go see you. So, basically, uh, just like, all that's left of the dead characters are, like, the last remaining impression of them. Just like, the tiniest amount of soul that they have left. I'm, I don't know how to describe it. I have a very powerful like emotion about it, but I, I'm not good with words. But anyway, I had this idea that in chapter five, when Kokichi is you know locked in his dorm writing his little script, uh, at one point late in the night, he like looks over while he's writing it and just sees this like- Here, I'll give you a chat. Ooh, thank you, I have chat. No spoilers, please. Um, <laughs> and all that Kokichi can see is just like, Basically, what going to looks like after his execution. So I should be all like fucked up and burnt. Oh yeah, I was I was imagining like if he he leaves like burnt footprints Mm -hmm. and there's like fire licking at his feet and then also of course like the gapping uh, chest wound. I was also thinking that gapping. Sorry, (laughs) my fucking apologies, gaping. And I was also (laughs) (laughs) gapping. Oh, that was a that was a in person typo. Yeah, you said gapping. Twenty four hours. Sex? <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours sex? <laughs> we are already so.
so derailed right that now. That wasn't even the typo one. It was, it, was it was 24 hour cock. A 24 hour. How would you make the typo 24 hour 24 sex? Hour sex? <laughs> I'm booting up the watch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I, Oh, Jesus. Well, look, hey, at least it doesn't happen to only me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? But I blurted it with such confidence. Honestly. <laughs> Whoa, what? Jamie, <laughs> you are very pretty. Thank you, I drew it. <laughs> that took me like two weeks. I'm gonna go junk rat. <laughs> oh, man. Shocker. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, man. well, you didn't have to. What was I, what was I gonna say? I don't even. Don't see you. Are you gonna finish explaining it, or are you already done? Oh, Wither Cats, you're. Oh, okay. I see who you are now. <laughs> yes, you're going to play. This is really fucking good. Thank you. Uh, I really kind person on Tumblr. I was uh, freaking out about not being able to look at the Gonta tag, as one does, and uh, they just sent me a bunch of Gonta posts that were spoiler free. So, I deeply appreciated that. And also, some really fucking good character playlists, including the 4,000 song Kokichi playlist. You remember oh, that? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking insane that you did that, by fucking the way. Fucking insane. Um, right, okay. Last thing about the ghost save, because... <laughs> okay, exactly. but does the 4,000 song Kokichi playlist have um, Tenderness by Paul Simon on it? Does it? Because <laughs> if it doesn't... It's about to become 4001. Well, it's actually, I think, 4008 last time I checked. Mm, 4009. 4009. Um, I also had the idea that the, the Gonta apparition would have just, like, very hollow, blacked-out eyes, because one of the last things the PG would have of Gonta um, would be, you know, showing him the secret of the outside world. Mm. Also, what was the song again? So the cats can hear it. Uh, Tenderness by Paul Simon. It's very, I mean, if you want to get shippy with it, it's more Kaito Kokichi, but it works well as a solo. Fuck, yeah. Too. Kaito Kokichi time. I don't even know what the song is. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I told you about it. Tenderness by Oh, Paul you sent Simon. me this one. Yes, yes I know this one. Yes, tell everybody about. I hope it's you like the sound of explosions, chat. I can't even hear anything. Oh, because you have your oh, headphones in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is yeah. so laggy. Oh, shit! Cowboy's here! <laughs> I'm throwing Maki. None of you can see it, but... It's so laggy. Myron keeps, um... Myron keeps saying the amounts of points they have, and it's... It's kind of scary, it's right? too many. <laughs> Wait, did you add... We still have the, uh... Uh, get back to playing the game one, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's necessary. Oh my god, it's well, lagging out so much well, that the hero intro just right laid. Now no. The whole point of this is that we're not playing the game. Yeah, we're trying to get it all out before, the, <laughs> before we yeah, play the game. Yeah, but again, like, when we start playing the game, we'll be ripping off of it, so, like... <laughs> no. You guys better strap in. You, all of you East Coasters are gonna be able to perform the Everyone's saying the stream is freezing repeatedly. Yeah, well, I, I just switched it to performance. He's oh, okay. using the last meager bit of bandwidth to play Overwatch. <laughs> <It's a> play <laughs> Overwatch. Well, I want to play Overwatch. Out for them. <laughs> do you guys want to watch Overwatch or do you want to just have the chat box open? Because it's up to you guys. I think it's funnier if you don't show them. I think it is funnier. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are. We, they need a little reminder that they're acting at hell. <laughs> yeah. You people have too much power. Yeah. By the way, I'm not even playing Overwatch well because it's super laggy right now. Yeah, because we have it's the fucked up setup. Yeah. But as soon as Lily brings the actual computer over, it'll be yeah. less fun. Oh shit! It took oh. me five seconds to move! Oh, that's chunky. You might want to just turn that off. <laughs> yeah, but I want to play. <laughs> Is it worth it? Uh, maybe not for my team, but... <laughs> Withercat says that they have playlists for the entire cast, including the Monica's. Which I already knew, but I wanted you guys to know as well. <laughs> yeah, terrifying. <laughs> the Monica's voice it. Oh no, it's getting slightly fit. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. What do you think is okay? Do 
Here's a little thing. Here's a fun game for us. What would be so play this for every single character, uh, presumably in V3? Worst song to put on each playlist. I got one. I got the go into one immediately. Boys will be bugged. It's not a go into song. Stop adding it because it's by Cape Town and because it has bug in the title. True. You fucking have a vendetta against these people making it's, go to playlists. I literally, I see Boy Will Be Bugs by Cape Town and I turn around. That's Because they so don't get him. Uh, I do. <gasps> I killed Arisa. Sorry. I do like the song Boy Will Be Bugs. It is on my day in local clothes because it's for Kaito. Anyway, uh, August, what was the name of the song? I'll type it in chat. Uh, but... Tenderness by Paul. Okay. Oh my god, there's a Moira. Yeah, I recommend it to everybody, so this is probably like, this is probably like the fifth time after Pluto hearing about it. Oh yeah. This is yeah. the first time I'm hearing about oh, it. Oh wow. Oh wait, it, I probably kept it from you because yeah. you were, because it was spoilers or whatever. There we go. There it's there not you go. actually spoilers, it's just when you're... Anything is a spoiler if you get that. Yeah. <laughs> I will make it a spoiler. It drives me insane though, it's like, uh, <laughs> the chorus is like, I know you do, 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 do. but there's no Oh, I see. Also, Astro, uh, with the cat says that the Overwatch is very loud. Oh, is it? I turned it all the way down, they bro! Can't, they can't, they're struggling to hear us. Loud like and lag. Alright, I'm putting it down. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, when I said, um, worst songs, I mean, like, in oh, like, like a funny way. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, that was a really good piece of your psyche. I love that you, I genuinely love that you gave a serious answer. But I was thinking more like, what's like the... Like, you know, the funniest one, the funniest, put. worst thing to put on mm, each person's playlist. That's a good question. Oh, we were talking about what were we talking? We had a correct you one, right? Yeah, we did. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but it's anymore. actually a good correct you song, but the first impression of it based off the title oh, was really funny. Yeah, <laughs> Sex with a Ghost. Oh, <laughs> no, it, it like it works. It's just when yeah. you say that, um, <laughs> when you say that, it's like yeah, your it's first like, thought oh, is, geez. Oh, Jesus Christ. But then it's like, like, I wanted to forget. <laughs> but if you look at the lyrics, it's actually like, oh, well, there's like, talk about like manipulation and etc. Yeah. Well, that's just even better because it's like, it's bad funny and then it turns good. Ashley, yeah. can you turn up our voices at all? Uh, yes. It's at max. Okay, I'll mute the Overwatch. <laughs> Yay, no more explosions. <laughs> actually, no, I'll put it like at the <laughs> very minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to think. Well, of the good news is this won't be forever. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Um, Ooh, I can lift higher. I don't know. I thought this would be. I can't think of any actually. Yeah, it's kind of hard because I don't know a lot of funny music. Well, like it doesn't. Um, because it's like there are funny songs, but then there are ones where it would be like, you know, what would be like, like fucked up. Yeah, what would be fucked up to put on their playlist? Oh, I That's see. a better way to frame it. What would yeah. be fucked up to put on their playlist? Oh, <laughs> well, relevant to this, with the cat said, I put Metal Crusher on my cookie chip playlist. <laughs> no! Oh my god! See? That's a good one! That's a good one! Oh. I have a, I have a serious song on my Kaito playlist called, I'm, I think, it's a Frank Sinatra song. I'm pretty sure it's called I'm Gonna Live Until I Die. Oh. Oh, that one. Yeah, I remember that. Well, aren't we all? Aren't we all? Um... It's hard. You did this to yourself, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I did this to myself. I thought it'd be a lot easier than this, but now I'm like, the second you have to think of something, you like blank out. Because like, you can think of songs that are fitting. Like, I actually feel like scales and arpeggios from Aristocrats would be from Aristocats would be a cute one to put on Kaede's playlist. Oh, that would be cute. Have you guys ever seen? Um, Astro, are you familiar with Aristocats? Of course, of course. Yeah. Because hmm. oh, I don't know a lot of songs for the characters that aren't go to Kaito Kikuchi Chirichi. Yeah. I was talking, I said, mentioned this to Astro when I was making the little bowl over there. I accidentally put uh, go to Kaito Kikuchi Chirichi next to each other. Aww. <laughs> and I was like, well, oops. Because <laughs> that's not even my favorite characters. They're just the ones I think about the most. <laughs> I feel like, um, here's my take on, <laughs> like, Gota and Tokichi. You know the whole, okay, I'm gonna start off with this. You know the trope, it's not going where you think it's going. You know the trope of, like, 
fake dating and then it turns into real dating. Yeah. yeah. The reverse of that, where Kokichi has to go somewhere and he's like, I don't want to embarrass myself, but the only person who will agree to be his fake date is Gonta because Gonta <laughs> is that nice. <laughs> it does not end in anything romantic. It's just a whole night of Gonta being like, oh, Oh, and he brings like chocolates or something be because date. he wants yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Gota showed up with flowers because gentlemen show up with flowers for a date and Kokichi's like, Bozo, it's not a real date. <laughs> <laughs> like, I keep telling him the whole time, it's like, it's not a real date. And it, it does not, it does not work. Like, yeah, exactly. It gets exactly. so, it gets so exactly. messy. It's like, Gota's like, again, like, doesn't have any feelings for him. It's just like, Kokichi asked and, um, gentleman has to do good favor for his friend. So Gota will be good date. <laughs> like, Kokichi. I came with flowers at 7 p.m. to pick you up. <laughs> I just need you to pretend that we like each other for a night. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Also, uh, Willow Cat says, I also have a song called Hydraulic Pressure. I'm like, oh my okay, god. Okay. They're <laughs> under pressure! Under pressure! <laughs> <laughs> under pressure! Yes. You know what? I think I have yeah. seen that actually. Pressure. Push him down. <laughs> okay, you know what? We figured it out. That's a funny one to yes, put on a Kikichi photo. We got one. You know, I have actually seen that though, I think. Extremely funny. So um, funny. Don't stop me now on Fucking the Fucking CEO playlist. comedy. I have a shooting star on the Kikichi. I've seen that too. <laughs> oh man. I, I've been thinking about. I've been trying to find so one song for every single V3 character that is like not super angsty, it's just kind of their vibe. Fuck, I should have altered. Because I, after I finish V3, I won't make this, like, big V3 playlist. Yeah. That's in, like, chronological order. So at the very beginning, I want to have one song for each character as, like, you know, an intro song. Mm -hmm. you know, like, for when you're meeting them for the first time. Yeah. I already have a Gota and a Mew song. Ooh. The rest is in progress. <laughs> I have a really good Mew song with a genuinely good Mew song. Yeah. You guys ever heard Sexy Naughty Bitchy Me? No. By Katha Young? <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so Mew. It's like, I pick all my skirts. To be a little too sexy, just like all my stuff, all my get a bit naughty. There's like a middle in the mouth, in the, there's like a line in there, it's like, um, my, mouth, my mouth never takes a holiday, I always shock with the things I say. So, you know, it's so, and it's also like an early 2000s, like, kind of trashy, but really catchy pop song. It's, it's very new, it's very new. I recently added, um... Wait, hold on. Before that, I'm going to read chat. First of all, hi, Raspberry. We're not even playing V3 yet, so don't even worry about it. Yeah, um, we're just chilling. Before uh, number two, I lost my game. <laughs> yeah, and you can see the stream is lagging. Yeah, I closed it. <laughs> <laughs> and also... I didn't even win. It does sound like a very good Mew song. I recently added... Um, let me check my, my music, because I can't remember. I added this, like, yesterday. They stopped my alt, and I'm going to be sad about it. Uh, hold on. Where's my <laughs> playlist? Damn it, it's in alphabetical order. I'm so stupid. Hold on. Oh, it's damaged. Okay. I have <laughs> Bitch Boy by the Oozes from you. Yes. <laughs> it's really good. Hold on. Don't play. Let me find the lyric. Well, I'm not going to read the lyrics, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured. I was like, well. Let, let, show on. me. You can pull it up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's real, but you also probably can't read that. Yeah. I don't you don't want your that. voice attached to that. No. Pink Panther. I don't even. I don't even know what song that is. Oh, I know that song. Is it by Baby Queen? I don't know. They didn't spell. Scene Queen. Yeah, I feel like it. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a diff. Sorry. I always mix it. I always mix up. But there is an artist called Baby Queen. I have heard that one. It's very, like. It works, but you need to read. You need oh to no, I know more. who that is. Yeah, Scene Queen. Yeah, I always I get her mixed up with Baby Queen because there is an artist called Baby Queen. But I know that song. Um, not saying this is a bad or unpopular take, but it you need to read Mew's Walla Walla for that one to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which you know. I can see you're struggling. Already, <laughs> she is already a bisexual icon. Oh so yeah, for real. No need to worry about it. Your Mew playlist is 220 songs? Oh my Holy gosh. shit. That's more than Kaito. 
I'm more than going to. Wait. <laughs> That's okay. You still, you still get best going to playlist right because it is legitimately the best going to playlist I've ever listened to. So good. I listened to that. I listened to literally the entire playlist and added like ten songs to my ding and rom playlist. <laughs> Hold on, I'm putting the going to Liz Bell song. Wait, I've got a, I've got one for Komeda actually. You do? Uh, like a song. It's not necessarily bad. It's just kind of funny to put on there. Um, Russian Roulette by Red Velvet. Oh my god. <laughs> it works! <laughs> I don't even know how the lyrics go. I never bothered to look up the translation. Everyone forget. Oh, Aster, also, don't say what's happening because Lily was in chat earlier, so I'm worried. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, anyway, um, everyone forgets that Gundam also did the Russian Roulette thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he was pussy about it. No, he Nobody remembers. He did it the normal way. Well, he was <laughs> pussy about it. <laughs> Made okay, like, but but consider this: Gundam doesn't have an ultimate ability that makes him lucky. That's true, but like a, tr a real Sigma male. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, absolutely. You're, you're, right. you're correct. <laughs> songs that <laughs> songs that are I'm smart and also horny are not exactly hard to find. Apparently. Oh my god! <laughs> no, Wait, I mean, yeah. I'm smart but also horny is actually kind of what Section 915 Me is about in kind of a roundabout way. I, I feel like uh, Bitch Boy by the Oozes is more about. Uh, more Mew kind of like freaking out. You know what? You know how she does yeah. whenever anybody calls her out on her, her bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, why is it still skipping frames? I closed Overwatch! Hold on. Let me check out the cast manager. I like Maki. Maki's cute. <gasps> I've got a. Oh wait, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, this might actually be a legitimately good one to put on the Kuroko playlist. Oh yeah? Maxwell Silver Hammer by the Beatles. Never heard of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's a whole song about a guy who, like, murders women by hitting them over the head with a hammer. Okay, yeah, let's put, yeah, put them on the Kuroko playlist. It's perfect. That's it, yeah. It's like the chorus is like, when she's getting ready to go, a knock comes on the door, do 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 oh, It's like bang, Bobby. bang, <laughs> yeah. Bang, bang, <laughs> Maxwell Silver Hammer came down upon her head. Do, 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 That's extremely bang, funny. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer <laughs> made sure that she was dead. I have, um, oh, I think I did, I, I haven't actually added Sex with a Ghost to my Dana Ronco playlist yet, but I do have one other Kurekia song. Let's and it. it's Hyperdontia by Ghost, just Ooh. for vibes. Ooh. Hey, man. Your sibling is very passionate about Gundam. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, everyone should love Gundam. Let's Wait, all talk about how much we like Gundam. Come by any chance? Hey. No, hey, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to go, I hate Gundam. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, I'm spinning it on its head. I was talking about Gundam. <laughs> oh, I hate Gundam. <laughs> Why? I hate his dumb little ice cream hair. <laughs> I like his ice cream hair. I don't like More his ice cream, his no. stupid anime I mean, His hair. anime hair is better. He's not as Sigma as Kameda, so like... Stop talking! <laughs> That's true. He's kind of a pussy. Dog, dog, dog spent so long wanting to go to hell and he went to heaven instead. What Loser. kind of hell is that to uh, <laughs> Making my Hyoko playlist is funny because it goes between pretty Japanese dance music and loud Japanese screamo. I love yes, it. Yes. That sounds great. Hyoko is like if you turned the, if you put, if you turned the band um, Baby Metal into a oh, really? bad tempered child and then put them in traditional dance with them. Yeah. You're correct, yeah. I put Yoko in one of my essays for... I did see that. Yeah, the class was taken. What was your Hyoko thesis? Oh, well, no, she was only like Hyoko an example. Thesis. <laughs> Hyoko thesis. We were talking about like traditional arts, yeah. traditional Japanese arts, and I was like, look at Hyoko. She's wearing a kimono and has cherry blossoms around her. <laughs> her thing is ultimate traditional dance. Theory. Yeah, I also said that. I was like, I'm going to find a way to put Ding and Rump on every single one of these essays. So You were supposed God. to look for examples of... Um, like characters and traditions. No, but we were supposed to like make connections, and I was like, I got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually haven't brought up Dang and Rumpa since, uh, because turns out there's not a lot of like, <laughs> like more than surface. There's gonna level be Dang and Rumpa on your final. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the class is gonna be like, huh? What is this? And you're gonna be like, oh, I got this in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. that reminds me about uh, what we're doing next week. <laughs> what are we doing next week? 
We found cosplay, baby. Let's go. Oh, our, the professor cosplay. Our professor said he's dressing up for Halloween when we have class. Yeah, um, and we will also be dressing up, and <laughs> it'll be worse. Um, I still have to get the hairspray, but like you. So <laughs> no, no, not yet. Not yet. Later. <laughs> Later. There's been a Later. development. Yeah, there's been a development. Let's just say that. I like the themes of doing something horrible for love and making a demon feel, and then becoming a demon yourself in that song for Correctio. What song are we talking about? Um, the, oh, pianist they said the Pianist by yeah. Madame Macabre. I'll have to look it up. That sounds good. I have been like, can you actually send me your Correctio playlist? I have been wanting to listen to a Correctio playlist, but I've been nervous to look for them. <laughs> I used to have one. It was called uh, Bitches with the Anthropology Department Love Me. <laughs> of course, wow. that's what you named it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, like, here's the thing that I've realized. Like, actually, like, since playing the game, I've realized just how much, like, because what happened, and I've told the other two this before, is that, like, I saw, like, one hyper fanonized version of Correctio, and I essentially made my own hyper fanonized version, but in, like, Kind of the opposite direction to what everybody else was doing, and so now that I've played the game, I was like, "Oh wow, my in- my opinions were so influenced by, like the, you know, uh, like secondhand information." Oh that yeah. I don't even feel anything about him anymore. Like <laughs> I'm just like I've achieved pure zen. He just exists. <laughs> just a guy. That's kind of how I feel about him too. Because when I was first playing the game, before we got to chapter three, like, you told me before. I think it was, like, one of the first times where you were hanging out, you just, like, input them to me about Correctio. Yeah. And it was before I played V3. And so I knew about, like, the, you know, the thing. But, like, I didn't know when it was going to come up. I genuinely thought it was only in the free time events. Mm. <laughs> no. Oh, but man, you wish. <laughs> when I was first playing the game, I, like, enjoyed when he spoke. Like, I thought he was, like, a freak. Yeah, see. And I enjoyed thing, it. Like, if... What basically what I realized was that I changed oh, a lot about his backstory, like consciously too. I was like consciously changing it because I thought that a bunch of media people seemed to be where you really only need to change one thing. I think like don't do that. For the cat, can you do me a favor and send that link to me on Tumblr? I am using Aster's phone right now. Oh, you can look back on the VOD later because it saves the chat responses. Oh yeah, or I'll do that later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I and it was like at the beginning of the game I felt like very interested in Correctio, but now I'm like, he just exists. Like I still like look at him sometimes and go, He could have he had such a cool design, why did they do that? But for the most part, I don't really think about him anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's like um it's actually it's kind of embarrassing because I was like, Oh my god, I spent like months having a certain opinion about this guy, but it turns out it wasn't even accurate. <laughs> <laughs> well it's not your fault, you never yeah, played the game. Exactly. I was like I was kind of weird about my... Which is really about... funny, by the way. Yeah. yeah I, well, I mean, my um, uh, my reasoning was that, like, I was... I kind of started it... It was weird, actually. I kind of started it, like, in denial, because I told myself for years, like, I'm not going to be a Desert Monica fan. And <laughs> oh, then yeah. I got invested. So I was like, well, I'm never going to play these games, so I spoiled everything for myself. And then I was like, well, now I'm in too deep, so there's no point in playing them. And I pl- did play the second one, um... But, um, yeah, no, I was like, I'm not going to play them. And in retrospect, I, sh- and also because I, uh, I get ready to take the L. I have a Mac, so I, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't have played the oh. three anyways, but I could have, you know, I could have at least watched a playthrough. Yeah. Like, in retrospect, I would have, I would have just, like, taken any L and watched a playthrough. Yeah, well, the good thing now is you can actually get V3 on profile. Yeah. And, or, or Switch. Yeah. I, I, the I good thing is that I learned... Yeah. Do I still have it? Yeah, I do still have it. Let me see what I... Oh, like, can if you, there's anything still good that I put on here. Can you send me that thumbnail you drew? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh my god, why can't I look at it? Oh, there we go. I've just never used the app before. Okay, let me see if I can find... Okay, I did put Max Silver Silverhammer on here. Um, ooh, okay, there actually are some good ones on here. Um... She Sucks and Who Is She by iMonster are both actually really good Kurekyo songs, and I stand by that. Is this on Spotify? Or yes. Can you send this to me? Um, my playlist? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's, it again, it's my, my you yeah, know, that's fine. having not played <laughs> the game and essentially doing a whole bunch of fanonizing. Um, oh my god, I Hold Your Hand in Mine by Tom Lear. Um, 
Surrounded by Ghosts by Shannon and the Clams. Shannon and the Clams? That's a good, yeah. That's a good name. Actually, some like of that. these some of these still, some of these don't make any sense anymore, but some of them do still hold up. I put Sister by Mac DeMarco on here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> by the title alone, I think that counts as a bad one. But Literally anything that even like comes close to alluding me, to that in the title too. alone is a funny corrective song. Yeah, I mean... I think it goes without saying in my rework. I did take out that aspect of the exam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's see. funny. Like I, I, oh, okay, I don't know on. if I should get into it, but like people are. I'll like, let you take a look at Chad and I'll the get big, the phone back. The big way that Correctio gets fanonized is by this. I remember there was like this long post that gained a lot of traction. Essentially, like, um, like trying to prove that like, um, that Correctio was used or something. Not the other way around. Oh boy! So yeah, that's around. where a big part of the fanization com comes from. So it's like a it's a weird situation where it's like it's like it's not entirely doesn't entirely gel with the game, and it you know it's it's a it's weird it's weird. Yeah, like I just try. It's stay better away to just take it out stuff. entirely. Yeah, no, because like even in the scenario where he is the victim, it's not like fun to think about. It's not like yeah. angst in a way that's like it gets you excited, it makes you want to read fix about it. Yeah, it's exactly. Not it's fun. just kind of depressing. It's depressing. Yeah, and it's like it's not like Dang and Rampa um has not okay, they haven't always more often than not, they do a pretty terrible job of it, but it's not like abuse isn't a topic that comes up in Dang and Rampa. Like there's a yeah. couple of characters where like again, it's not always well done, but it's not foreign. But that's obviously not what they were doing with Kurekio. It's probably just for shock value that they put that yeah. in. One hundred percent. Yeah. Anyways, I'm actually like looking at the lyrics and like if you were to take out that aspect but keep the dead sister, this would actually work really well. It's very short, but it's like turns out not every dog has his day. So sad suddenly gone away. Wish there was more that I could do. Anytime you're hearing this sister, my heart goes out to you. Oh, that's good. So if you took away that, yeah. that could be really good. But I want to talk about one of my favorite going to songs. Yeah, switch it to something about a conversation <laughs> topic, please. Please switch off of Correcchio. Yeah. I The new Will Wood album is very good. <laughs> and there are two songs that I took from it. Actually, there's technically three songs that I took from it from my V3 playlist. But I'm going to remove one of them because the song is just legitimately too sad. And I have to skip it every time it comes up. Uh, if you ever want to cry, listen to Euthanasia by Will Wood. It fucks me up. Anyway, uh, the Gonta song on uh, that I really, really like on that album is Willard by Will Wood. Um, uh, let me find the lyrics for it. I'm a bit of a clown and I don't have a very good memory. The song starts with, <laughs> you know I couldn't hurt a fly, my friend. I'm not the type to step on ants. I've nearly cried for moths that die at porch light lamps, more for the plights of mice than men. And it just, like, the whole song is about just, like, feeling disconnected from the people around you and feeling more connected to, in this case, in this song, it's, uh, I think it's actually Will Wood's pet rat, but, you know, don't tell. <laughs> it's, yeah, I really, really, really like this song. Oh, and another part that I really liked was, um, uh, Never learned how I should feel. Instincts somehow stunted. Just seem haunted by my stupid urge to protect. Until frustration makes me wish my teeth were sharp as yours. Chew through their garage doors. These carnivores will no more use my heart. I like the song for Gota a lot. Um and yeah, with a cat, I see what you're. I, I see what you mean. I guess I can see why it could be interesting. It's just no, I don't like thinking about it too much. Mm. Yeah. Um. The other song I have from this album is actually for Kokichi. Hold on. It's called It's the Main Character uh, by Will Wood. It's just the entire song to me, though there's a specific part that I kind of want to draw into an animatic. Let's see. <laughs> uh, it goes, yeah. I whip plot armor from NPCs, well they are to me. Trite tropes, traits, traumas, trinkets, and treats, it's all XP. Look in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's super ego, the underdog you cheer for. I imagine he's talking I about Kaito. Imagine. 
Oh god, it's so good. And of course like the uh where's the part? I mean, the chorus is always always really hits, but especially the last chorus where it switches up a little bit mm. where it goes um uh oh th- this it's the part this is the part I also want to throw an animatic for this song where it says um uh, Her Majesty says the royal we demand a standard of royalty, an agreement to be reverent with the emperor's new boots. The court fool got the guillotine. The witches to stake you the dopamine. I imagine the court fool is talking about Gonta. The witches talking about you, you the dopamine, talking to Shuichi for exposing the truth, even though it wasn't what he wanted. Ooh. The scene was made of Cyclops to be the last to get the clue. We all do what we need to do to get through. It's nothing new, but I ain't done a fucking thing to you. And then, of course, the last part oh, it changes to, yeah. I mean, imagine if antagonists lacked any evil scheme. Oh, no. I know oh. this song because it went popular on TikTok. Of course it did. Yeah. I listened to it when it came out because it was on the album. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You no, know, Lil <laughs> sitting there at home like, fine, you want a TikTok song? I'll give you a fucking TikTok song. <laughs> there. Hope you're happy. That's and they really, were. It's a really fucking good song. And then song. he made OK Computer. Which one is OK Computer? It's the, just that horrifying The sound horrible collage. middle part. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just that horrifying sound collage. It's like, I, gee, I wonder if this guy is burnt out on social media. Yeah, I listened to that for the first time when I was walking back to my dorm. I literally stopped and just stared into the distance <laughs> and waited for it to stop playing. And I pre downloaded the entire album because I knew I was going to like it. I deleted it <laughs> because what? I don't want to listen to that ever again. It was really cool, but holy shit. I want to listen. Stream, you want to listen to it? <laughs> I think I want to listen to it. I think my favorite freaky song is probably a What's song. Called? Song uh, that's okay. is it Hello Computer? Okay, it's computer? called Okay Computer. You liked this. Yeah. Anyways, my favorite freaky song, like completely unrelated to that, is probably a song in the Death Machine by Blue Pack. It's so good. It's so haunting, but so good. I have never heard of it. Okay, it's, chat. I'm gonna start playing this, the song. It's like, underground '70s electronic album. Because of course it is. Welcome to your platform. Please enjoy responsibly. We are the democratization of media. We are eager to get to know you. You are only human, and we are here. Audio listeners love you to death. I'm sitting here squinting. Witness, you are broken, and we will heal you. We will save everything. We work in our own. Oh man. Yeah. We have a plan for everything. Oh, oh, it's building. Uh oh. You liked this. I remember what it was. Did you show Dead Silence for you? Yeah. You might be right about everything your worst instincts tell you. Ten red flags that a neurotypical narcissist is trauma about gaslighting you into sex negative self. No, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Internalized reverse racism against the postmodern. I also hate TikTok. Number seven will destroy your family. Hey, fuck that music video, by the way. Yeah, I've never seen the music video. and interpersonal productivity. Your friends are all here in easily digestible parts. Funny how you all have Oh, so uh, this is called you, you like this, like okay, computer. Depressed. Your enemies have been rad- radicalized by an unknown Which, force. by the way, is such a haunting title. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like you should you be taking out the like this. Just you may like also this. like hashtag Will Wood is over party hashtag free speech hashtag Judy Garland deep fakes. <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yo, this guy does not so, like social media. Honestly, if I, if something like that ever happened to me, I would also go radio silence on Twitter. It's mm-hmm. so overwhelming. <laughs> I like this so far. Yeah, that was uh, wild. Just, it's very good, but it freaks me out, and I don't want to listen to it ever again. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, what I was going to say. That was a time. Is that I have a Junko thing, but it's very hyper specific. So you guys are going to have to bear with me here. Okay. Okay. Cut the crap out of the pictures. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you start. Okay. Well, I was, I was no, not prepared no. for. Okay, hold on. Whoa, hold I was on, hold on. You said it was that. hyper specific, but and I, I was didn't like, think okay. you meant that. I didn't think you meant. Listen, okay, okay. They did one which was like. Had Miley Cyrus in it, and the first verse no. that Miley Cyrus sings in it is actually very Junko coded. Can you say what it is? Stop leaving us in suspense. Junko pill. Junko pill. It is Junko pill. It's legitimately Junko pill. There's a line at the end where it's like, um, this rap is like my alter ego because I killed it. Oh, damn. Yeah, that is Junko pill. Battery's running low. Stream might cut. Yeah, it's at ten percent. Yeah, stream might cut. I'm sorry to bring up the cut. words epic rap battles of history and Junko in the same. That was sentence. really funny. Also, did you message Lily about bringing the computer? I don't know if she is bringing it, right? I don't know. Hold on, I'll message her. Again. She might think that you brought it, or is she using it? Well, and I just said a knock on the door. Just in case. I didn't even like knock on her door, so. For the best, we didn't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have one I feel like for now I have like one song for every occasional character and whatever that one song is it like says something about either my perception of the character or the character like I have one Biafia song and it's uh, I think it's City of Angels mm. that song that got it got really popular on TikTok I don't know the artist's name oh no I remember that head. one that one's Wait, Biakia? Biakia? Biakia. What the fuck? I heard it on a Biakia playlist and I was like, okay. Because every single Biakia playlist I found the day I was listening to Biakia playlist was all like girl boss music and it was really funny. <laughs> I mean, big boss, yeah. big time, big business by uh, Santa Gold. <laughs> no, I did not hear that. Hey, hold on a second. What did you clip there, Wither Cats? Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, um, I don't can't get enough of myself and Big Boss, Big Time, Big Business are both kind of Junko pills. I don't have any Junko songs. I don't think about her. <laughs> what a compliment for the main antagonist of the series. <laughs> well, I'm just busy thinking no, about no, like... I, I'm not, that's not a dig at you. They can dig <laughs> at the writers. Yeah, well, okay, to be fair, my favorite game in the series and the one that my playlist is like 95% of is V3. And, like, Junko has only just showed up in mm. B3, so I don't even have, like, a chance to put anything for her yeah. on there yet. And from the sound of it, she's still dead even in this one. Yeah, I feel like she... There's no fucking way she's still alive. Like, yeah. I don't know what, what's going on, but we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, welcome to the weird part um, of, like, the weird, late chapter quote, unquote, 5. The weird part. No, no, the weird part of, like late chapter 5 and early chapter 6 where you just have no idea what's going on because they've refuted like everything they've said up to this point. Yeah! Okay, so Kikichi isn't the mastermind. Where do we go from here? (laughs) Well, I didn't believe him either, okay? But it's still like, who the fuck does that leave? Yeah. Don't don't tell me it's Junko again. (laughs) Anything but that. Guys, Hmm? plot twist, it was Junko. Whoa. No! No one would have ever seen this coming! Yeah. Oh, Ruby says, hello, Kokichi and Gonta Kins, I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Me! It's so fucking... <laughs> I'm accepting my fate. For once in my life, I'm actually cold sitting in this room. Yeah, because the heater isn't on. I, oh, oh it's, my god, it's cold I was now. like, it's always hot in this room. I left the heater off because I assumed that once we're all here and we're eating pizza and stuff, it's gonna get hot anyway. Yeah. So. Town's like... Well, I don't need a sweater because it's usually boiling in here. Oops. Yeah, from now on, depending on how warm. Because the thing is, if I turn the heater on, it gets really fat, it really hot, really, really quickly. <laughs> My apologies, I don't know how to speak. No, it's like that one Tumblr funny. post that's like, uh, every time I, I see something from my hyperfixation, my IQ drops. <laughs> it's like, I feel I like thought you were going to say the one where it's like, every time I see a big word, I have to Google it before I fuck around and use it in jujitsu sleep. No. <laughs> I added in the tag in that post where every single time I see a picture of my board bowl, I forget how to spell one word. <laughs> 24 hours sex. 24 hours hour sex. sex. <laughs> plus, t- plot twist, it's Mukuro and she's back. Oh, Wither Cats, how could you spoil V3 for <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, come on. Dude, no, this is no actually Danganronpa 3 shipwrecked. <laughs> Mukuro's revenge. Wait, did you say... 
did you say shipwrecked or did you say shipwrecked? Yeah, that's like what the I Alvin and the chipmunks. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. These are good skittles. You think in Rafa soundtrack goes way too fucking hard? Yeah. You know, there's a saying that's like a real and true with the cats. <laughs> with the cats, I must respectfully disagree. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm putting Kokichi in the chat. Everyone, everyone spams the movie Shiragane podcast. You know, there's a there's a I worked saying, hard on that emote. There's a saying that's like, oh my god, wait, ongoing call. What? Eh? What? Oh, my my I I don't think my iPad has caught up to my phone. Ruby says, very important question, if a zombie walks into the gym slash falls in a pool, would that count as a violation of the a school zombie? rules? No, because it's zombie. not alive. Yeah, it yeah. But is it alive? Is a zombie alive? Wait, okay. What, what, what is time. a zombie? There's a, there's <laughs> a Hi, and welcome back to the Smoothie Shirakane podcast. There's a rule that you can't go in the pool? Yeah, you can't go into the pool at night. Oh, in Danganronpa 3? Yeah. Can't oh, you shit. meant like in real life? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, yeah, in real life, zombies are not allowed to go into the school pool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's like kind of discriminatory. Man, you can't, can't have it. shit in the academy if you give the juvenile. <laughs> not if you're a zombie. Um, Where did that come from, actually? <laughs> what part? No, I just what, not going in the pool. Ruby, that was a very random question. Oh, yeah. Thank you for spamming Sumugi. I'm throwing a fridge at You her. all single-handedly made me like Samugi a lot more. I'm Thank throwing you. five fridges at her. Five fridges. I don't care. I don't yes. care. I'm throwing fridges. My Samugi propaganda is working. No. It will never catch on. I'm going to be real with you. The bits we do has also made me like Samugi a lot more. God. <laughs> She's like legitimately one of my favorite characters now. You know, there's a... Oh, sorry. That wasn't about that. That was about the, the music in Dang and Rapa. I was about to say, there's like a... There's a saying that's like, um... A, um... A good film can survive a mediocre score, but a good score can't save a bad film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang and Rapa music goes way too fucking hard. Yeah. I remember when the game girls were playing it, like, is this taking place in, like, an underground goth rave? And it's like, that's the best part! <laughs> yeah, the music oh, yeah. is so fucking good. I'll, I'll listen to the Danganronpa 1 soundtrack when I'm studying. I can't listen to the V3 one yet, obviously. And it's so fucking funny when I'm, like, crying about chemistry, and then I the, fuck, the fucking closing argument music comes on, and I'm, like, struggling with a problem, and I'm like, this sucks. This sucks. I feel like the biggest clown in the circus. <laughs> Yeah, Kukichi. go to park. Let's go. Listen, listen. Thank you for the for the emotes, Lavin. Oh, I don't have the emote wall set up on the screen. Stop. Hold on. I'm on it. I'm on it. Don't worry. I'm on it. Gonta is the most character of all time, and I love him so fucking much. <laughs> yeah, too bad he's dead. Hey, hey. Too bad Kukichi's <laughs> fucking dead too. Yeah, Tune whatever. Hand in unlovable hand. Hand in unlovable hand. hand. Okay, the emote wall is set up. Somebody spam. Oh fuck! Wither cats, that is long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're talking about uh, the bittersweet. Yeah, gamers. I watched their the them play the introduction, but they were going too slowly. <laughs> oh wow, you're saying that? <laughs> yeah, no, they were going really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Sorry, it's like stuck in my head. One of them had a dream that Maki killed his cat. Holy no! shit! Wow! You know, I've had a lot of fucked up V3 dreams, you all know this. None of them involve Maki killing people, but one of them did involve Kaito killing Maki. I've never had, like, a, a detailed V3 dream, but I have had Kokichi just, like, standing in the background. That is, like, every single voice. dream I have now. Not even a joke. <laughs> like, he is oh in God, every he... single fucking one of my dreams. It's a nightmare. I think it's objectively worse if you can't interact with him. He's just staring at I, you. One time, he was just, like, a little, like... I was in a school, and they have, like, those billboards where they, like, put kids' art, and, you know, if you've been to a school before, and there was just, like, a giant gingerbread man dressed as Kokichi there, and that was his only presence in the dream. <laughs> it was so weird. Oh, they're saying Bittersweet Gamers is still faster than us. 
Okay, well, okay, well <laughs> I'm, I'm not watching my stream, okay? So it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll edit them down one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll take that. <laughs> well, okay, it was less that they were going too slow, and it was more like they would stop and like complain about something that would be oh. resolved very quickly if they yeah. kept playing. That was more my beef. <laughs> I mean, it's it's better here because like Lily and I will be like, hey, go. Yeah, go. where I'd be like, Kokichi, you little bitch, and you're like, just go. <laughs> I can't believe he thought he killed everybody. Why would why would they do I that? I was so why scared. Why would they do that? <laughs> I what don't kind know. of plot twist? I was just thinking a lot about that rule that Rantaro Ren talked about up at the beginning of chapter four about how if there was only two people left, the killing game would end. <laughs> so when Actually, K that'd be so funny. So when Kokichi was like, congratulations, the killing game's over and I couldn't see anybody else, what do you think I'm gonna think? I've never seen somebody come to that conclusion because nobody has ever overthought it like that. <laughs> but that is so funny and I'm gonna make an AU of that. <laughs> well, okay, it's not funny as an AU. <laughs> it's just, it's a little funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've heard so many times you people have said to me, I have never heard anybody think about it like that. Because nobody has. <laughs> nobody has played You are overthinking like, like like single lines. <laughs> like fucking something that was mentioned once and never again you are overthinking it. It's so funny. <laughs> Look, okay, it's not my fault. I've been playing this game for a year. Hey guys, did you know that in a week I will be a, I will have played this game for a year and we're not even done yet? And we're not even done yet. Oh god, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> they even condemned the Gundam? Wow. That's pretty funny. That doesn't make... Wow, that's intense. Because Gundam and Nekomaru, like, agree. I guess they just never fucking... I guess they just hate all murderers I... in the game, then. I guess Which so. is pretty hard to do, because so many people commit murder. Yeah. yeah, like, at least half. Yeah, oh, they're definitely. gonna have fun with Chapter 5. <laughs> if they like Kaito, they're gonna have fun with Chapter 5. Yeah. Hee <laughs> Maki. <laughs> no, I'm like just, that's so many characters to like. Yeah, to just like completely dismiss. Especially like, because some of them have good reason for killing. Yeah. yeah. They all range in how good their reason is. Yeah. Like, Kurumi, in my opinion, debatable. Oh but boy. I understand. Yeah, but... no, complicated emotions yeah, about Kurumi. Yeah, complicated emotions about Kurumi. I guess it would be interesting to ask, like, so far, who do you think, across all three games, who do you think has the most justified reason for murder? I've been thinking of making a tier list, actually. Yeah, yeah. Probably between, not that it's biased or anything. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like, between Gonta and Gundam. Yeah, actually. Because, like, um... Sakura, I like, guess, but she just... Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, Gonta was like obviously, as we've seen in chapter four, like kind of duped into it, or like yeah, like he was duped into, yeah, he was duped into it, but he also did agree to go through with it. Yeah, exactly. It's like a mix of like it's a mix of I manipulation was... and actual choice on his yeah, part. Yeah, like it's I don't using consider his, it's... it to be like duping. I think it it's was just more... manipulation. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah that's more better. Like that's a better way to talk about it. Against him. Yeah, because yeah, let's not get into let's not debate chapter yeah. four. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, Gundam also was like, I like how in Gundam's trial, you kind of reveal that he did actually do this for like the good of everybody else. Yeah, that was nice because I was really upset.